guys, I'm back again. Um, I've had a couple of good ideas for videos lately and I've had some requests. So um, I have a couple topic videos for you guys tonight. The first one, um, someone had asked me to, I did a video on the different types of Boldly Designs harnesses and someone had asked me um, if I could do one on Bridgeport as well. Um, now I don't own a Bridgeport anymore. I used to um, and I sold it and um, I will talk all about that. So I'm using my bold lead harness as kind of like a, like a sort of a way to just explain it to y'all, like about the differences and um, the different things like we did and didn't like about it. So the first big difference um, is the handle. Um, Bridgeport harness handles aren't customizable. Um, none of the harnesses is custom made. So um, it can, it's only certain heights and it doesn't fold. This one folds down. Um, so you pull these out right here, and sorry about the airbrush screen, and it folds down flat. So they go under a table, they can go in a car. Um, the Bridgeport ones don't fold down at all. And some of their, their handles, I believe, go up to like eight and a half, nine inches. So it's taller than this, and it just sticks straight up. So they, they have trouble going under things, they have trouble, um, mine would have trouble getting into my car, because they would jump and this would hit the top. So um, that's definitely one thing. Um, the next thing is, like I said, they're not custom made like these are, so it either fits your dog or it doesn't. And from my experience and a lot of other people that have had them, they don't fit very many dogs well. Um, Levi's never really fit him right all the way just because of how he's proportioned different things like that. Um, there's also not as much padding on a bridge port. Um, this has got really thick sheepskin. Um, and it's just, it's not as padded. Um, the bridge port in front, this is a straight across plate. Um, the bridge port has a Y plate in the front, which there's a huge debate on front, front sorry, versus Y, um, about shoulder restriction and things like that. Um, I don't necessarily think one's better than the other. Um, the reason Boldly does their straight is because they've, you know, spoken to veterinarians and all this, and they said that, that it's safe. And um, for people with um, tactile disabilities, like where they have trouble with their hands or things like that, um, a Y breastplate is very cumbersome to put on. It's kind of like one of those um, harnesses where they put their two legs through and you snap it on top. Um, so it's it's difficult to like thread their legs through, whereas this you can just slide right over. Um, so that was their thinking of doing this. And I will say that it's true. It's more cumbersome to get them into a bridge port. Um, the, the big difference that it made for me, um, well actually I'll talk about another couple small differences first. Um, another thing is you'll see on this boldly designed one, um, there is a girth strap, which there is on the bridge board as well. It's right here. But there's also this belly strap. And this belly strap sits right in their tuck up and it sits out like this. And um, sorry, I'm sorry if I'm like putting things over my face. I can't, I don't have my glasses on so I can't really see like how far in the frame I am and I'm making sure you guys can see. Um, it sits, it sits across like this. And I would say that, you know, from what I understand, this is a big reason that these don't slide. Um, the only time I ever have this harness tip tilt to the side like this is when he's wheelchair pulling because he's pulling sort of outward and I'm pulling him this way. That's the only time I've ever had that happen. My bridge port tilted so bad. I mean, it just slid right to the side when I was trying to use it. So you're trying to walk with your dog and I wasn't even bracing. That's the thing is I don't even brace. So I wasn't even putting weight on it and it would be like this. And it's not, that's, the torque is really bad on your dog's back. It doesn't really help you balance any. And even as tight as I could get it, that, um, ours always tilted. Um, and now there is a double strap bridge port that basically, it doesn't have the belly strap that comes out like this. It's got two single straps that are like right next to each other. So I've, I've heard it's supposed to help stabilize it a little bit, but we have the double strap and it didn't stabilize, like ours wasn't stable at all. Um, the bridge ports are also considerably heavier than these if you get a taller handle. I've heard that if you just have like the three inch handle, they're, they're comparable in weight. But mine, I had like an eight and a half inch handle, I think, or something like that. And when, on the shipping label on my, um, when it got sent to me, it was like six and a half pounds. This um, is about two and a half. Um, and I have weighed my dog with it on. So this is about two and a half pounds, the whole thing. Um, this aluminum or whatever, I don't know, I think it's aluminum, whatever the heck it is they use, this metal, is so light. I mean, it's like when I first got it, I was looking at it going, are you sure this is metal? Like, because it's just, it's so lightweight. Um, it's very sturdy. I've not had a problem with it, but it is very lightweight. Um, and from what I understand, the materials in the bridge port are heavier. Um, I don't know about the leather so much. It's just that it wasn't, it seemed like it wasn't as good quality as this kind of leather. But then again, it's like a fourth of the price of one of these. Um, so 
a lot of big differences, but the main thing for me and a lot of people, the other things that other people will tell you is safety. I really, d I didn't, didn't feel like it was safe on my dog because it didn't fit my dog. It didn't fit his shape. Um, it was shifting constantly. I couldn't even really use it for what it was intended for, and it could have harmed his back. Um, so I know people that have, have dogs that, for whatever reason, fit a bridge port just fine. Um, it's made for their body type or whatever, and they work just fine on them. And, you know, God bless you, more power to you. But even a lot of people that I know that use them had to adjust theirs considerably. One girl that um, I know has a standard poodle, and she had to entirely take, she had to completely take the chest piece out of her harness to fit her dog. Um, and she, like, fixed the straps and stuff so it stayed on. But, I mean, she had to take the whole chest piece out because it's really wide. And, I mean, a small. Levi is, is 70 pounds. So, I mean, he's he's not a huge, thick, golden retriever, but he's not a small dog. And poodles are bent, built much smaller than he is. And he wore a small. And you can go on their website and look at the measurements. But, I mean, so they're not small harnesses. I want to say that his chest piece on his was, like, this wide. And that's a small. Um... So they're really just, they fit very few um, builds of dog well. Um, and they're just, they're not to the quality the gold lead is, obviously. Um, and from what I've heard, you know, dogs are comfortable in them. He really didn't like ours. It was heavy. I couldn't even really use it because it didn't fit him well. Um, so those are the major differences um, between the two. I know this has a hefty price tag on it, but I and anyone else who has ever owned a gold lead product will tell you it is worth it. Um, if you need this kind of assistance, it is worth it to do it um, because it's custom made. Your dog's comfortable, and I have pictures of Levi with this thing on, handle up and all, laying out, taking a nap in it. Um, dogs who aren't comfortable in any other gear are comfortable in these. So um, I would say, when it, if you really need a, a mobility harness long term, it's really worth it to pay for one of these because there really is no comparison. And I've used both of them. I sold my other one. And I think by, I, I had got it used, and by the time I sold it, I mean, I think they're like, they're close to, they're like $80, $90, dollars new. I sold it for like 40 bucks because that's honestly what it was worth. It was probably, I mean, it was a crapshoot. Um, hopefully the person that bought it is getting good use out of it. Um, some people like them because they're a cheaper option. So if you're waiting for your dog to grow into a bold lead um, and you just want to get them used to wearing a mobility harness, people use them for that. But honestly, I've heard of dogs that, shy away from them, that are uncomfortable in them, they get pinched in them. So I don't know that I'd even recommend it for that. Um, so that's just my two cents. I had someone ask me to do this video, so that's, I wish I had one to show you, but I don't. Um, I'll put the websites below so you can see them, um, and I'll add some pictures if I remember into this video, but I usually won't remember. So um, it'll be there, but yeah, that's my, that's my harness video um, about the Bridgeport and the Boldly. And I've got a couple more videos to make tonight, so um, if y'all have any questions, um, y'all want to be put in contact with people who have had success with bridge ports, I know a few, um, so just comment below, and um, we'll see you guys in the next video.